say hello. Hey guys. So um, ew, gross. There's a sign. Um, so <laughs> you're about to watch some footage that I recorded like two weeks ago ish. And it was definitely supposed to be uploaded that night or the next day, and it definitely wasn't, um, as you will see. But as I also said in that footage, um, I'm pretty sure I explained, I've been, like, super, super sick and super overwhelmed with school, and right now, um, I, I was on break to visit my family, and it was crazy finding a ride there and crazy finding two rides back. Um, and then I had a bunch of final projects and final homework to do, and now I'm working on final exams. But I have a little bit of time now, so I'm going to go ahead and upload everything. I'm probably not going to edit it too much, uh, just because I still do have two exams left, but I'm done two of them online, so now I'm just studying for my two in-class ones. But, um, anyways, so... I will try super duper hard to record a little something tomorrow if I can. If I can't, just know that something is coming as soon as I can record it, um, which if it isn't within the next couple days, should be by my two final exams that I have left are back to back on Tuesday. Anyways, enjoy the video and I love you all. Well hey guys, so it's been quite a while um, since my last video in which I explained that I was basically homeless. Um, since then, I have found this lovely apartment, which is actually, I want to say maybe 50 yards away from Courtney's apartment, which is nice. Um, Sophie is finally adjusted. I actually moved in a while ago, and then here's what happened. Uh, so I found this apartment. Um, I was going to sign the lease, and then information was put in wrong. Um, my dad is my co-signer for the apartment, and when his social security and everything was put in, uh, the wrong birthday was typed in, and so there was, like, this huge inquiry that went on for almost three weeks where they thought that, like, his identity might have been stolen by somebody with you know, using the same social security number but having a different birthday or whatever, and then they just realized that it was an error putting it into the computer, so then finally that was sorted out. I was able to sign my lease. Um, I was still having to, however, pay two months of rent at the Roach Motel, which is fun, um, because I wasn't allowed to just get out of the lease regardless of the fact that I was never able to spend a full night in there due to roaches and mold, but... Anyway, um, moving my stuff out, Courtney, Courtney has, can I just say she's been a champ through this entire thing, like, not only did I sleep on her couch for, I'm, I'm gonna say almost, if not at least, an entire two months, um, and then she helped me with every single move, except for the original move where she only helped me with part of it because her car actually broke down on the highway, after which she apologized to me. So she has been, like, I, I don't even, I don't know what I would have done without Courtney. But, um, this last move we had to put, we had to throw my couch out, um, because there was a tear in it and the roaches had gotten into it, so that's, so I have no couch. This is my little living room. I have a smaller version, sort of, of Courtney's apartment, uh, being that this is more of, like, a studio. Yeah, my Christmas tree's up already. Hey, guys. Um, so I was gonna finish that vlog last night and throw it up real quick, um, and then my battery died and had to be recharged, and I don't have, um, non-rechargeable batteries for this camera, so... Uh, but basically, I just... Oh, can you even see me? Basically, I wanted to just kind of, like, update you guys on... On, yeah, on what's been going on. Um, so... Where was I? Oh, yeah, so I moved into this apartment. Um, it's really nice. I really like it. Uh, it's... It's small. So I had to kind of, uh, play Tetris with some of the cabinets. But... I do, I like it. Like, my oven, can I just, because this is one of the first things I noticed, is how 
small my oven is, and it came with its own little baby bit. Like, I have this baking pan. This may seem weird to you guys, but I just, I can't, but I love it. This is my baking pan, okay, that I have, and then when I got here, there was already a little baby version of this baking pan in here. And I think that's fantastic. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I moved in, I got out of the school, Courtney actually ended up getting me a job at the cafe where she works downtown on the weekends, and so I go with her, except for it's the weekend right now, and I'm not there, and I haven't been there for the past, like, month and change, because, okay, I haven't gotten a flu shot in years, like, since before I started college. And that's partly because I am terrified of shots, and partly because, um, I get the flu every other year, it's always every other year, like clockwork, and I never get it that bad, like, it's always bad in terms of, yeah, it's the flu, and so it sucks, like, it's worse than a cold, but it's never really that bad, but I got it this year, and not only was it worse than it's ever been, um, but also, uh, Mucinex, I'm guessing most of you know what that is, because it seems like everybody in the world knows what Mucinex is, and it works great for everybody, and everybody loves it whenever they get sick, except that I'm allergic to it. I'm allergic to the active ingredient in Mucinex, so I can't take it, which was fine, um, until recently when, I guess, all of the other companies making expectorants realized that Mucinex works so well for everybody else, and so they started using the same active ingredient, and so now I can't take any that I have found, uh, any over-the-counter expectorants anymore. So I basically was trying to live off of cold medicine for the flu, and it really wasn't working, and so I ended up getting really congested and then just staying that way, and I ended up getting a really bad chest infection, which lasted for like two more weeks until I finally realized, hey, this isn't the flu anymore, it's not just leftovers, like, something's wrong. Um, so I went to the doctor, found out that I had a chest infection that had only been getting worse. Um, she gave me antibiotics and prescription cough medicine, and then as that started clearing up, I realized that I wasn't congested anymore but still couldn't breathe, and so I went back to the same doctor, and after several different tests, she determined that I now have asthma. And it has gotten so severe that the reason that I still cough a lot and can't really breathe that well and get chest pains um, is because my infection caused my bronchial tubes to swell up, and then them swelling up made my body freak out and constrict them more so that I couldn't breathe even more. Because apparently that, that's your body's defense against not, well, it's my body's defense against not being able to breathe is making it harder to breathe. So I'm now on a two-week uh, inhalant steroid regimen to try and strengthen and open up my bronchial tubes, and, here's the kicker, um, the, uh, inhaler that I've been, well, the brand of inhaler that I've been using for years, because I, I occasionally get very, very mild asthma attacks, and most of the time, even when I do get them, I don't have to use the inhaler. It's more as a precautionary thing. Um, and I prefer not to use it because I have a mild allergy to albuterol, and it's an albuterol inhaler. And uh, it causes me to about 50% of the time when I take it, I, I throw up. And then I can breathe, like it still works, but the throwing up thing is not fun. Well, the doctor also tried to prescribe me a different brand of inhaler that doesn't use albuterol, and it turns out that my family's insurance 
does not approve of said brand of inhaler. In fact, they only approve of the brand that I'm currently using. So, we're, uh, we're possibly going to, I mean, based on how it goes with the steroids, which, I mean, there's already been some improvement just in the past couple days. Uh, there's no more chest pain, although it's still not great to breathe, but, um, it's, it has been better, so, uh, but depending on how that goes, um, my parents want to put, well, they want me to put in a waiver to the insurance company so that, uh, they look at it, they look at the fact that I'm, I have this allergy to albuterol, and then maybe make, like, an exception so that I can get the kind that I need. But anyways, that was, uh, <coughs> way more detail than you needed about my medicinal allergies. Basically, I just wanted to explain that I've been sick for, actually, it's, it's been closer to a month and a half. Um, and so, because I was, I was really and truly planning on resuming regular uh, vlogs once I was settled, and then I got settled, and then I started work, and then I got settled balancing that in school, and then I got sick for a month and a half. Um, but I wanted to put a vlog up, although it, it may not actually get up in time. Um, I wanted to officially have it up by midnight, although it's, it's 10 now, um, and my computer's very slow, uh, because at midnight I turned 23. Well, not exactly at midnight, I wasn't born at midnight, but, or, you know, it's my birthday on the 23rd, so. And I'm going to see my parents next weekend for Thanksgiving, so that'll be fun too. You guys can see them again, because I will be bringing my camera, and I will be vlogging. Um, I can't promise that this week, you know, they're suddenly going to start two or three week again, but I do want to work my way up to at least two or three week. I won't be able to do it every day again, at least not until, um, I've kind of given up on any kind of program or anything that can make this computer that I have work quickly and process well enough to to get vlogs up on a, on a fairly often basis, but my old computer, the one that I raved and raved and raved about, um, that was fast enough to get them up every single day. Uh, that's at home right now, and the only thing standing in my way of having it again is finding an operating system disk for it, which is proving much trickier than we originally thought. I don't know why. Um, my parents actually did find one, and they were going to get it for me, and they paid $70 for it and then had their money refunded, and the company was like, just kidding, um, we only had one left and we sold it, so here's your money back. So, um, because apparently it got a really nasty virus that, like, ate half of its operating system data or something, so. But, uh, I was told that once we do find the operating system disk, disk and get it, uh, installed and get everything done that's supposed to be done, then it will be my computer again, and then we'll decide if I want to go back into every day, because I, I do also still have classes to think about. But, that's for another time, uh, like I said, I just wanted to update you guys, let you know what all's going on. Um, I was going to do an apartment tour, but this video kind of ran a little bit longer than I expected, and I still also do have a tiny bit of homework that has to get done and submitted before midnight. So, um, I'm going to tentatively say that this will probably actually get uploaded and be viewable sometime tomorrow morning or maybe early afternoon. Um, and so I'm going to tentatively, tentatively say that while this video is uploading to YouTube, I will be filming um, an apartment tour and maybe talking about some other stuff that has happened or that I think of, or, I don't know. We'll see. It'll be a surprise for all of us. Alright, but as always, uh, for now, I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow, when I'm 23.